Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. I go by Sweet Pea Cosplay on the internet and today we are going to finish my Rena Rouge build log. What we are going to be going over today are Rena's accessories. This is mostly going to be covering her ears and her flute as they were the only big props that I made for the costume. Big props. <laughs> So for the flute, the first thing that I did was I got a wooden dowel from Joann's. It was a little bit too long, so I did ask my father to cut it in half for me. Once the wooden dowel was cut to the size that I wanted the flute to be, I started by painting the whole thing white. This took about two or three coats in order to get the opaque color that I was looking for. The first thing that I did was I took painter's tape and I taped off the very ends of the flute and painted them black. Once the black was completely dry, I took a ruler and I started to measure out where I wanted the orange bits to be. Again, it's very important to have a reference photo near you to kind of get a better idea of what you want the end result to look like. Then going piece by piece, after I had taped off where I wanted the orange to be, I started to paint the orange on. The orange paint that I had was a lot thinner than the other paints, so I did have to do several layers until I was satisfied with the opaqueness of the color. I repeated this process until the rest of it was painted the orange that I wanted and then I went through with the white paint and cleaned up any rough edges that I had. Then I just used a round tip tool that I had laying around and using the black paint I started to paint on the holes for the flute itself because I didn't have anything to drill actual holes into the pieces. Once the flute was completely painted I just sprayed on a couple of layers of clear enamel to protect it from chipping. Now for Rena's ears. I do want to preface by saying that they did not come out exactly the way that I wanted them to, but I was very proud of the work that I did on them because I worked with a lot of new mediums that I've never tried before like foam and warbla. So the first thing that I had to do was I needed to carve out the general shape of the ears. To start with that, I did draw out a small pattern and placed it on my head to get a feel for the size that I wanted the ears to be. I used this foam that I had bought from Joann's and I kind of cut out the general shape of it and then used a pair of scissors that I had to shape it more into the way that I wanted the ears to look. Once I had a general shape, I used a Dremel tool to try to smooth down the edges as much as possible. Now this next part was a little bit tricky for me because I had never properly used Warbla before. But what I ended up doing was I tried to coat it in Warbla. <laughs> I basically started by cutting out a piece of warbler and trying to shape it over the foam itself. As I was shaping the warbler, I would cut little slits into it and kind of fold it over onto the foam in an attempt to get it to stay. There are probably better ways to do it, but like I've mentioned, I've never worked with warbler before, so I wasn't exactly sure how to go about this process. It was difficult, but it gave me a smoother result on the back, but I don't think that I would do it again because it wasn't as pretty in the front. 
Once I had the warbler sticking to the foam pieces itself, I used my pattern to cut out the shape of the ear that I used before in the warbler and used that to stick on top of the foam itself. Since warbler sticks to itself, I didn't really need to use glue or anything to get it to stay. The next thing that I did was I used some craft foam that I had laying around and I rolled it out into a thin tube. Once I had that tube rolled out using some E6000, I glued it onto the edges of where the ear pieces met, the two pieces of warbler. This was to cover up the warbler seams and also it looks like she has this on her ears themselves. Like I said, reference pictures, reference pictures, reference pictures. Once that was added on, I left everything to dry for 24 hours. Once it was dry, I used wood glue to completely prime the entire thing. For both pieces, I did around four to six different layers of the wood glue so that I could be sure that everything was smooth and ready to be painted. After that, using my reference pictures, I painted everything. The back side of the ears was of course painted orange, the inside white, and the piece that I used for the craft foam, black. Once everything was painted, I used a Dremel to drill holes into the bottom of the ears. With those holes, I added hot glue to the screws that I had done on the wig, and I stuck them on. And once that was dry, they were completely attached to my wig. By the way, if you'd like to see the wig tutorial, you should click wherever it's gonna be, whether it's here, or here, or up there, or there, or down below. The other thing that I had was the Miraculous itself, though I just ended up buying it from an Etsy user who I thought did a really good job and it looked the way that I wanted it to look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate your support. If you'd like to see the rest of my Rena Rouge cosplay build vlogs, they are going to be linked somewhere on this video or down below in the description. If you want to see any more of my cosplay projects or my finished pictures, please feel free to follow me on Instagram at Sweet Pea Cosplay. If you guys end up having any questions, just let me know. I'm here. I'm not a great cosplayer, but I am happy to assist in any way that I can. Thanks again for watching and I'll see y'all next time.